today. Um, we're going to get started soon with our typical format, continuing with the nun, the mm -hmm. John Nun book. So we'll just hang out for a minute. Yeah, I'll be looking at that Carol Khan. Mm -hmm. Khan! <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there have been any tournaments or anything. Did that, uh, do you know if the I Am Not a GM ended yet? Did oh, I wasn't paying attention uh, to that. Me neither. I don't think it did, but it was towards the end. We were, it was definitely getting close to finishing. Anyway. Who, who was uh, winning? Was the guy with no mouth? Um. Did he win? I was rooting for him. <laughs> Melina? Sure. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think it's Melina. Yeah, I don't know, but I did know. I saw him the other day on um, playing in the tournament, and he looked mm -hmm. like he trimmed. Oh, no. His... No, it was good because it wasn't. It, you could see his lips then. <laughs> That's not what I want. <laughs> well, quite frankly, he looked a little creepy otherwise. I like when people look like sort of like a sea monster. You know? Yeah. That's what it's like. Hey, we're cut <laughs> off here. Hey, do you know who looks like Daniel Day Lewis and There Will Be Blood? Did mm. I tell you this? And we're blurry, I think. No, no. I think you should just like refresh that. There's something wrong. Yeah, there's, there's, it's just, it's there's cut off wrong. and yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, see, it's not blurry now. It looks blurry. To the left, or uh, neither of them look blurry to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the monitor's crap. Well, maybe some people will tell us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe some people will tell us when they ever show up. It looks like we got three, though. Mm -hmm. Three scared viewers. It's like three blind mice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. Scared to show yourselves. Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, maybe they could challenge at least. Yeah, come on. Come yeah, on, get cowards. a game going. Three or, five, three or five minute. Rated or unrated. That's right. Come on. Deal or no deal. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey go. Hey, I think you weren't on the last stream, were you? It seems like you were missed a stream. Right. Yeah, we were. Uh... Oh, it's Thaddeus. Hey, Thaddeus, how's it we going? We were talking about how uh, there was no goat. Yeah, unless he came later and I forgot. Oh, look um, at that. Let's see, what what, what happened? Oh, thank you, GM Benjamin Fine Gold, for that sound. Yeah. Hey, Mark, how's it going? All right, I got the goat coming in. You got his goat. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to go fast. It's three minutes. You gotta go fast. Wait, why is it not working? Right, right. You are clicking it properly. I saw. Um. A Scottish demon goat admitted he didn't watch yesterday's. Hey, I tried to um click yes to the challenge and it won't let me click. Maybe it. just refresh it. So you may have to send it again. Alright, let me. That's pretty weird. Hey, Kangaroo, thanks for the subscription. Yay. Hey, Kangaroo, how's it going? Thank and you for Bishop that sub. Tits. How's it going? Okay, there it worked is. that time. That was weird. Just need a little refresh. Mm hmm. All right, let me try this again. No London, no cry. Yeah, I don't ever remember what I'm supposed to do. How's it going, Shane? I'm doing well, kangaroo. If you're asking me. I know me. you like my night here, right? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Oh, it's imaginary friend. I always wanted one of those. An imaginary friend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Fabs. I try, you know. But I will change that uh, hair color. It seems like You'll I got see. chased around last time I did that. I did. I remember this now. That is true. I was supposed to do some other move first. Yeah, prep at A4. Well, I guess I'll have to remember that next time. <laughs> I remember I didn't handle all this right. <clears throat> but, alas. How's it going, Stir of Souls? Cool name. Well, at least you got your pieces out, you know? I know. I just remembered. It's not it all, too bad. It all came flooding back. It was incorrect. I'm actually, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do a double color, but you'll, you'll see. You'll all see. Let's 
So pretty comfortable, uh, pretty comfortable position for black. Although I wish his bishop was on g7 instead of e7. You know, it's obviously much more passive there. Mm -hmm. And maybe he'll spend the time to reroute, which will only cost time in the end. But if you think about it, time is all we have, so. True. Yeah, you know, like double guitars. Someone called me a preening, preening popinjay. That sounds like uh, on Futurama what they called uh, what they called uh, Calculon, maybe. Or maybe Calculon said that. <laughs> that sounds like something Calculon might say. Mm -hmm. C4, explosive move. Oh, I see that stir of souls challenge. Must be the same stir of souls. That was a pretty fly move, G6. Mm -hmm. oh, so far you've been playing this pretty well, I would say. Complicated stuff there. Hey, it's Frosty. How's it going, Frosty? <clears throat> Good to see you again. The big check. Pretty normal play. Well, you know, except h5, I guess. Otherwise. Pretty uh, interesting structure. It's like permanently closed. There's no way any either side could uh, break without a sacrifice. Or just hanging their pawns, I guess. How's it going, mind humper? <laughs> Karen's the most peaceful player you've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Says uh, Alpha, all, Office Alpha. She doesn't have that Alpha energy. What do you want, you know? A pretty nice reroute there by the, the goat. His bishop on b7 was not great. But on C8, it's got potential. It's totally got potential there. How long is the queue? Well, I think it's at least three or four players long already. Mm -hmm. Dang. Trying to move fast. I saw. All right. That was a good game. Yeah. Uh, it's, it was pretty interesting in the middle game. I'm not sure who was better. GG goat. But you had a lot of space, and uh, like I said, the goat wasted that time by playing bishop e7 to f8 to g7 instead mm -hmm. of g6 bishop g7 at once, and uh, you stabilized your space advantage while he was doing that. So that was pretty good for you. Um, so probably the most accurate move order is e4 here. Not that knight f3 should be bad. All right, you all, yeah, you like this idea <laughs> to put the knight here. <laughs> that is a great idea. I taught it to you. Yeah, I guess I have to um, maybe go a4 first. Or Here's what I would do. Couldn't remember. H3. Okay. A lot of times in the Benoni, black does this, and this is a good time to play h3. Because this is like a bad bishop in the Benoni. As you saw, his bishop was even bad when he got b5. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in the Benoni, you don't get b5. But it was bad even after b5. Just yeah. to show you how bad that bishop is. So a lot of times they'll take it and try to control the dark squares with their bishop. You know, like that. Mm -hmm. So h3 is a good move uh, in general. Okay. 
Hang on one second. I can't ever see these. <laughs> it's well, it's, it swell be. Okay. It's well be. <laughs> yeah, I did make it to karaoke, as did Spencer. It was, yeah. It was fun. <laughs> it was a, um. Where's NM yeah. baby? You're uh -huh. looking at him. <laughs> you think you hung something? Hmm. But yeah, anyways, I would wait for a6 to play a4. If you play a4 at once, he he has, well, maybe not here, but a lot of times they can do like this. But you didn't play c4, so mm -hmm. so that, that's actually not. Maybe you could play a4 then. He can't do that idea. You can just kick him away. Yeah. You're going to play bishop c4, then knight b4, kick him, protect your pawn first. Okay. So yeah, you could play a4. But yeah, I like h3. Just don't let him trade the bishop. You want to keep all the pieces on the board. And this is actually something that I'm going to criticize in the future here. Uh, but like I was saying, bishop e7, uh, probably just g6 is, is strictly better. Mm -hmm. Unless there's, I mean, there wasn't even bishop g5 or anything to be worried about. So. No, Spencer, I didn't do a du duet, not with Spencer or anybody. Occasionally I do a duet, but not very often. So uh, what would my dad say about this? I guess that's supposed to be it with a4. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You want to get that square for your pieces again. Okay. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Or play a4 before they play that. Then they, they you know, you have that square. Mm -hmm. This square is important. Absolutely. But you're learning more about how to fight for that square, you know. You also have the idea to play knight f5 if you want to take the bishop pair. But you don't have to do that, you know. You don't really have to do that. I thought about it later because, um, but, but then, it, yeah, I'd already moved. I didn't really think about it. Yeah, I don't even really like this move because you're just going to play c4. And the bishop was bad for him. Well, that was the whole yeah, thing I thought about was yeah. to try to block the bishop off. Right. Yeah. Yeah, now uh, you've stabilized your space advantage and you could potentially even be better. That was a great move. That's a good move. All right, but don't trade the stuff away. That's not right. You got a lot of space, so don't trade it away. In okay. fact, if I had black, I'd be trying to trade away because I got less space. So I would play here. You tried to play this later. This would be a great time to play this move right now. Yeah, I wanted to play. I wanted to play that all along, but um, you, I mean, I saw you play. Yeah, it yeah, I did moves. play yeah, it. Yeah, totally. But I was first trying to make sure that I didn't hang some pieces. <laughs> Just seemed like, especially when a guy's rook on the B file. Everything right. was sort of well. Yeah. This move is like risky. You this might be hanging pieces because this is loose and mm -hmm. and also you could like take here and try to take your like this is a very tactically risky move. I yeah. think it works out for you. It did. That, but no, so I was worried. It was just safer even. Okay. And it stops his idea. And you I don't was, want to trade. I was worried about the bishop on e two, but it wasn't completely here. I didn't quite see. Yeah, because after um, I had moved my knight already. Right, right. This is a move I'm criticizing, actually. Yeah. This is a move. You could play the exact same way you play just without this move. Mm -hmm. That's this, that's the only part. I like <clears> rook <throat> b1, too. That's a fine move. You know, I think it's okay tactically, because if here you could take this to protect the knight still. Mm -hmm. And if ever this, you just throw this in first. So you never have to worry about any of that. Or here. No, right. You always do this first. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to worry about this or anything. So yeah, knight g4. Uh, it's it works tactically, but it, it's just it allows trades that that aren't favoring you. Okay. H5. Okay, I mean, it doesn't really help black. I guess but it's okay. This was pretty normal play, huh? He said he thought he hung something. I I haven't seen it yet. Maybe later. Mm-hmm. Unless I want to look at something. Yeah. Let's see here. All right, this is another move I wouldn't play because mm. never trade. But also, this is I'm afraid of. When he played there, I was like, uh oh, you got to get these guys off the white squares somehow. I saw it, but too late. Yeah, I like just here see it. I saw it coming, and yeah. it's too late. You can actually play bishop takes to avoid it. Even yeah, though. yeah, should have. Yeah, and then he got you. But definitely a good game. And you played it pretty fast, which I liked. It was a pretty quick pace, I would say. <laughs> I guess it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes you get banned for telling the truth. <laughs> is all. Truth hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, well, let's keep it going. Oh, yeah, here's Stir of Souls. I just saw him in the chat, too. All right. I look so rumpled today. Like uh, rumpled still skin? It's rumpled. <laughs> I don't know. How's it going, Drainer? Good to see you again. Spencer hair is, Spencer's hair has not changed, PD, PDX Jack. Not, uh, not since the last time I saw you on the stream, at mm -hmm. least. Hey, PDX Jack. Hey, Drainer. Style. <laughs> it's the French. All right, it's still three minutes, so got to bang out some moves here. Goes for your opponent, too. He seems to be uh, already playing it a little slow. Mm -hmm. Come on, Stir of Souls. It's three minutes. You challenged it. Always retreat. <laughs> or retreat like a Frenchman. That's what it is, right? Oh, 100 bits. Thanks, Drainer. Well, that's a pretty uh, funny little emote there, SJ. Takes all kinds. <laughs> Sometimes when I have a positional advantage, I just don't know how to use it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think you really had a positional advantage in that game. Um, ever, really. Until you won all the material, but then you're just winning materially. I mean, it was comfortable for you because you got B B five in, but it wasn't necessarily like a big advantage or or a serious advantage or anything. Oh yeah, Thaddeus knows about G five. White's play is pretty aggressive, huh? Mm hmm. Especially considering he played the exchange French, which is not particularly aggressive. But I like to do that too. I like to play kind of a quiet variation, but then, uh, you know, then your opponent isn't ready for it. Like, oh, he's just playing boring. But then it's like, here's g4, g5, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get you, Scottish Demon Goat. But yeah, you know, we've all been there having a great positional advantage, but... Uh, you know, not really being able to to make, uh, to progress, at least. But also, you know, if your opponent's defending well, it might not, just just might not be easy to, to make progress. So you got to give your opponent some credit. Hey, it's Bowler. Good to see you again, Bowler. Yeah, I guess she could have sacked there. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, but I'm looking back at the notation. I mean, I don't really know about White's aggressive play there. He certainly seems to be paying the price. That queen on f5 is irritating. But he's the one who has to suffer now, not me, so. That's true, Scottish Demon. I think you're right. You Both your bishop moves were incorrect, but then you rerouted them correctly. That's nice. That's how you got to do it sometimes. Spencer, do you play blindfold? Um, I don't really just do that uh, for fun or anything, but I have played blindfold chess, and, and I could get through a, a whole game. But it is difficult for me. I will admit. It's pretty difficult. I couldn't do multiple... Well, maybe I could do multiple blindfold games, but... You know, for me, it would be an extremely uh, strenuous effort. little intermezzo check, huh? I was playing pretty punishingly. Pretty, pretty, pretty punishingly. It's 
good move. Mm -hmm. I don't have very much time. Maybe you could uh, pre-move it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Love these quick moves. That's what I'm talking about. Confident play. Yep. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's mm -hmm. how you do it. No fumbling around, right? G Just get in there with the queen and rook. Mm -hmm. What piece odds do you think you'd need for a game to be 50-50? Well, it depends on the time control. The slower the time control, the less mm -hmm. odds I need, of course. Yeah, really good uh, technique at the end. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. And GG. Yeah, I don't have much time. That was, was a good oh. game all around, actually. <laughs> all right, so he played the exchange. Mm -hmm. Knight C3 is... Uh, you know, not the most optimal move because it takes away the options of playing C4, which you might want to do. Hey, Fraud with. Like, for example, because I know my opponent will never play C4, I'll just play like C6, Bishop D6, Knight E7 here. You know, that, that's like a really solid setup. Stir of, Stir of Cell says, oof. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. Yeah. Anyways, here, that's not bad, though. Mm. Yeah, this is a good setup for you as well i was real pleased just because i've had this mm -hmm. so so many times it's comfortable for me now bowler wanted you to take which uh, i think is probably just wrong really hmm. interesting though let's see well what, i mean it's easy for him happen. to go here yeah. after the double capture and, takes, and you takes, can't really takes. put more pressure here you can't do this or anything so i just don't really believe it anyways white shouldn't be playing g4 in the center so open yeah. You know, after bishop g6, you're just better anyway. g5 is ridiculous too, of course. And now it should just even be positionally winning. Playing g4, g5 is not really acceptable. And the board's pretty open, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, what if you play c5 later? <laughs> like, that would make him look really silly. But the way you handled it was also good. Yeah, why not just double him up? You, you can even go here, you know? I thought about it, but... But your move's okay, too. I was wanting to try to get maneuver my queen up, so I just want to get mm -hmm. the guy out of the way. Right. <clears throat> I mean, it does have the downside. Like, this structure is better than that one. Because, you know, these squares are... Solid aren't, center, yeah. Yeah, these squares aren't as weak. Like, this square is so bad when his pawn's on C2. That's like, you can just hop your knight in there. Easy plan. Or like I just was a little... I didn't know what how that would yeah. be for me if they took and then I had the double pawns on the G4. Oh, right, that's why I was with suggesting their pawns. that, actually. Oh, okay, so they couldn't come in with the other pawn. Yeah, that pawn. Also, you can do one of these takes. You could play F takes, you know. <laughs> one of those few times. Yeah. yeah, I was already thinking about that. Yeah, because he pushes G pawns, so the yeah. F file is so weak. Yeah. Right, yeah. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's April Coco. Yeah, hey, April Coco and Leighton Potential Mona Mort and anybody else that I didn't see. Hey, um, Bishop Takes. <laughs> but yeah, you're just playing it solid, you know. You're just playing it solid, and you have a positional advantage. This was good. I liked. I love queen on f5. It's so good for that queen. Really mm -hmm. taking advantage of the weakening of the f file. It's so annoying here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. That's why even you have to worry about this sometimes too. Mm -hmm. Got your knight out finally. Great move. Yep. I yeah. wasn't sure what to do here. Right, I was gonna say this is a moment where I had like three like, choices. Every I move is fine. So okay. You just play one. Okay, because I thought you I spent didn't... like too much. Well, time I here. felt yeah uncomfortable. Like, you, just, King H A was take. fine. Okay, I was yeah. gonna do that. Maybe that was like, my first thought. King takes this. Okay. But then I thought if the queen came back, I'm attacking the pawn, and still have still attacking yeah. the two two pawns at that point, but not attacking. I the mean, I'd be surprised if those three moves didn't all just win. Yeah, I wished later though that our queen was back. There when I, because then I would have had a double attack on the knight, but it worked out because I got the queen. <laughs> right, he has to defend. Oh, he's dead lost, but he has to defend yeah. this better because you could have lost on time. Yeah, that's true. So like a move like this is the game goes on. Mm. You know, probably you could still do this, which is good, or even here, or here. I mean, you have just, every move's good, so mm. <laughs> you're gonna win, but the time might. But yeah, now you win for sure. Got the rook in. That was fine. Although, you know, I was actually sort of expecting that because I'm there. Mm -hmm. That would have killed.
killed them right away, but you still sort of got them here like this with the same concept. Like here would also be mates, but okay, just as good. It's actually literally two moves either way. He can't, he can't mm. make a move to stop you from both. So good game. Dang, you can't pre-move either mate though, because he could stop this one or this oh, one. Oh, and then yeah. I lose my queen. Right. <laughs> it's too bad. <laughs> Yeah, I like to pre-move it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but pre-moving mate in one is the stupidest thing to pre-move. Yeah, thank you for the game stir of cells. Yeah, the game ends after. <laughs> I would have played king h8. Yeah, I mean, that's that should be winning too. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, it's big frosty. Though. All right, frosty. Another three-minute game. Every game's been three minutes so One far. of my favorites. Let's see. Get it going. Oh, you got it, Stir of Souls. That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. One of the two things I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other thing? Uh, you know, the nun thing. Oh. I, th <laughs> I thought you were referencing that maybe some non-test thing. Or... Oh, like my good looks? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, what you were here for. You're yeah. Not, you're not here for your good looks. Harsh. Oh, Please. on the stream. No, I didn't mean that. I meant Ouch. like here at the club. Like... Here, it, like on Earth. Yeah, I don't mean like. <laughs> no, hang on. Oh uh, yeah, this is the line do. you guys have been debating. Um. All right. Oh yeah, color commentary. That's right. Yeah, still following a game you guys played. I think. I'm almost 100% certain. I'm here for chess. I go to Ben's stream for jokes. Yeah, that's about right. Solid stuff. Yeah, both of you guys are thinkers, so... It's probably going to be kind of a slow-paced game, huh? Classic. Classic Frosty. He's playing really in a hyper-modern style, but... Well... This is really a clash of styles, right? Because <clears throat> the London is, is a very classical opening. And he's playing in, in a very hyper-modern style. If only Nimzovich were here to see this. <laughs> I'm here for NM baby and all I got was a lousy stubble. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I was definitely planning on growing it back out anyway, so you're going to have to deal with the stubble for at least a few more days. But I've always been more of a beard boy. Now here comes a pawn break. Pawn break alert. It's like perk alert. Or as I like to call it, Peart's alert. Mm -hmm. Just because I like to ruin it, you know. Oh, I see this this picture. It's it's Fry drinking a lot of coffee. Great episode. But anyways, that's a 3 plus 2, so you're going to have to get rid of that increment if you want to challenge whoever has the the Fry with coffee picture. Pretty logical stuff by Frosty. He knows how to centralize those pieces. Mm -hmm. Looks like some C file issues for White there before castling. I don't know, I thought that uh, it was okay. Thought that it was okay. No symmetrical rooks. Yeah, your games with Frosty are always pretty interesting, huh? Uh, yes. I love to play Frosty. Kicking you around. 
Mm -hmm. Rude. Right after you said you like to play him, he starts kicking. <laughs> Is that how it goes? Do you guys have a favorite movie? My favorite movie is uh, There Will Be Blood. I could agree with that, PDX Jack. I love There Will Be Blood. Man. Let's see. Oh. Tom, Tom is gonna get me Tom, again. Tom is on my Tom. side. Come on, you got it. Just win. Okay, I you know. Just think of the song "All I Do Is Win." Embody it. I'll slip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn! It's hanging everything. Okay, I just have any time. That yeah, was that was um. You were actually winning in the uh, early portion. Yeah. You had a tactical win. Oh, did both I? sides missed for two moves. Darn. Yeah, let's see it. Um. Let's see. Your move order was really good too. You played h three after d six. That was good, and then this was right. Bishop G3 was good. You didn't go to H2 like we talked about. I thought about nice. it, yeah. I did think about it. I've read a bunch of Cormac McCarthy books. I love his books, but it's very, very depressing. The road was very, very depressing. So uh, here it's here it is. White to play and win. White to play and win. All right, let me look. Oh, tactics. I just need more time to do some tactics. <laughs> It's the type of thing you fall into a lot, actually. Yeah. Your opponent does this to you. So now you can know what it's like to do, you know, do the same tactic that you always endure. <laughs> All right, let me see then. Um... Right. What's funny is uh, that those great movies were both the same year is why McJurgle. They both came out in the same year. What a year. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know. It's here and there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am the son of Ben Feingold. Right, C4 is not as good exactly. I was going to say that, Mark, because of knight before taking advantage of the pin and threatening mm -hmm. knight C2. So C4 probably won't work. Yeah, definitely won't, actually. Okay. And then after here, then even he blundered it again. But then finally he took... So, uh, yeah, he should play rook c8, which I think he did play. First of all, don't play knight d5. That doesn't even help you. How does knight d5 help? Well, maybe you can. Maybe you can do this and take and play bishop h6 and play knight f knight f4. Because after it takes, you'll probably take this. If you take this way, it's knight b4 as an idea, at least. It's kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. So you take this way, maybe. Well, the knight takes is even interesting because it comes with the tempo. Knight takes might be better because it it hits the tempo and this square is weak. Mm -hmm. Knight takes is the most rarest way of capturing in London, I think. Wouldn't you agree? The what now? I'm sorry. The rarest way of recapturing is with the knight on d4. Yeah, I would definitely totally. agree. Totally. Yeah, <laughs> but maybe even here. But let's say you play normal. He can try to go here and play knight f4. That's really the, the main idea of knight d5 is to play knight f4. So if you're going to play knight d5 to f4, okay. But if you're not going to do that, then don't play knight d5. Let's play rook c8, which you, I think you did that in in another game, like I was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, No Country for All Men, Drainer. I read that one, too. That was very good. All right, now, was there c-file problems? Oh, yeah, Kyle was right. Yeah, it's pinned. Oh, yeah. It's pinned, so he could take. He's got enough on it. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So, actually, rook c1 is a, is a blunder, right? Mm-hmm. 
Even though it looks like you're challenging the file. You're not even going to play C-Takes. You didn't. My like... So it doesn't even help. My like castling. Yes. Yeah, castling's <laughs> definitely the move here. Was the problem. No doubt, yeah. No doubt. Um, Gwen Stefani. Yeah, I love all those Border Trilogy books. Yeah, I've read a bunch of McCarthy. This might be bad, because I think that move was good. And now, uh, well... No, no, he, yeah, he handled that. Let's see, it's four, and then he's got three, so what's the point here? Right, isn't that right? One, two, three. You got four attacking this. So I think you're winning here, unless there's a rejoinder at the end. Mm -hmm. Let's analyze it a bit. Takes? I mean, I assume he takes. He can't do something like this because you're, you're threatening here now. Right. Like he took. Yeah. So he's going to have to do it like this. Let's just... Uh, Let's just snap it all off. It, I don't think that there's a tactic here because uh, we could play f4, and we also have the idea to we also have the idea to play bishop f3, for example, like this. If we do this, then we can go here and, and save all of our material. Oh, okay, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's a three-minute game, so calculating all of that is not uh, very not efficient. Easy. Mm -hmm. Use of your time. So I don't know. Yeah, I assume I had rookie. Right, you could think you have rookie eight there, yeah. Because of the loose bishop, but you can't really calculate it. Here you should play knight e3, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely knight e3. Because after here he got to take your pawn, and now he's better or winning, maybe. So you had your chances this game. No, wait, even here, this move? I thought it was winning. Yeah, I was just... Hit, right. I had no time at this point, but... Like, yeah, what, I'm curious what the engine says right here. I think it'll say knight c4 wins. No, no, knight c4, black's better. Knight c4. Knight c3, I didn't see that, of course. And if we try to win two pieces, they pin us, and then they keep it with the bishop like this. Oh, here? Ah, this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done yet. Yeah, now we're done. <laughs> now we're done. Okay. Okay, yeah. so by miracle, it's not winning for, for white, but it looked like it could have been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, uh, whatever. This might even be a good move, but yeah, he had more time. And, and he played it very, uh, he was in a lot of control when he didn't have a lot of time. Like, for example, he noticed the fork. He noticed his rook is defended, so the pin was I a, didn't see that it was a fake defended. pin. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it's even still it. smart to do that because you're a you might bluff your opponent, right? Even yeah. Even if you see it, you should do that. Just, uh, just to, Well, he also has this move. But, mm -hmm. well, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was an interesting game. You definitely had your chances there. Yeah. I think we have time to keep um, playing, and then we'll do the lesson because right. we're about 38 minutes in. So we'll just keep yeah. going. Sure. Let's see. Oh, Lowell, you Lowell. played him the other time, the other day, I think. Yeah, I've played him a few times, I think. Yeah, always bluff, right? That's what I like to do. Bluffing with my muffin. Ben loves that saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Lady Gaga. <laughs> I didn't Cause... know that it came from her, but... Look, he's about to lose. He's about to be auto aborted on move two. Remember how this happens? Oh, this happened Little before. Move. Come on. What well, what happened before though? It just it, it aborts the game on move two. If if you think about move two, it doesn't let you think about move two for more than fifteen seconds oh. or twenty seconds or something. Oh yeah, I remember that happened before. Why is yeah. it so picky with move right. two? It seems like it would have better. Yeah. Um, well, we can do another one. I, this happened before. Yeah, it was crazy. Some people like to, don't know their opening. Like they like to think about it. All right, yeah. we'll do another one. We'll do another one. <laughs> I mean, also, I had a I played I think a game ben where was the guy played a weird opening on move two, and I had to think on move two. And it oh, would, it would let me. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I think Ben was complaining about it too because he likes to, you know, goof off and do whatever. Oh, he said he's finishing an ultra bullet game on leech has. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, funny. you got to You had to play two moves though. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
you only played it a London a tempo up. Oh right, right. Yeah, in fact, that's uh, that's not a bad line for Black to just be a, in a tempo down London. That's uh, considered, I think, enough to equalize against the Trumpowski. I recognize this guy from the Discord. Oh, I guess Lowell's in the Discord, huh? Pretty spicy pawn break. Queen e2 is an interesting move. Trying to uh, punish your opponent. Should have got castled first, huh? Now who's late castling, am I right? <laughs> There is a Discord uh, for, um, you know, my dad's channel. Who is the guy behind Spencer? <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe it's Fisher's ghost. I see. Alright, some creative chess here. I like King D2 instantly, Knight D7. Like, King D2 didn't phase him one bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Spencer, sir, who do you think is the best chess player of all time? I don't know, I've always been partial to Kasparov. He's pretty good. He's, like, really good. <laughs> you got it, Mona Mort. Carlson? I don't know who that is, but Carlson with an E, he's pretty good. Right, <laughs> who's that cap? Exactly. The runaway king never going back. Huh? Mm -hmm. Stein, it's definitely. Oh, yeah, but Dabadu, also a Kasparov fan. Yeah, he had some really good games. And he was, you know, world champion for a long time. Magnus Carlsen is better than Gary Kasparov. Well, right now he is. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if his career is better, though. Spencer, who would you say number two and number three are? I don't know, probably uh, Carlson and Fisher, huh? Although this guy Andrew in the chat might... Uh, he doesn't like it for me to put Carlson top three, he wants. Number oh, yeah. one, Carlson. <laughs> Carlson's really good. Darn, I shouldn't have gone here. Kasparov was much more dominant. Well, Kasparov was more dominant for longer. It wasn't uh, necessarily... When you look at Magnus, like, leading up to and including his after his first world championship, you know, 2011, 12, 13 is pretty dominant stuff. 2014. Darn. Let's see. Little fork. Man. And I can't, um... Didn't Steinitz play very boring chess? Well, so, you know, Steinitz, uh, that he didn't really start out doing that, but then he did, near the end of his career, play, like, very solid, much more boring chess. It's kind of weird how that worked out. Yeah, Karpov's pretty good, too. Karpov was pretty good. He's also a world champion for Darn, quite a long time. I should time. just resign. I guess I'll continue on. I can't. Can I, I can't. Even, I guess I can. Lose my queen. Um. Oh, nice. Uh, nice pre move.
You're more informed than me. I'm only speaking based on what's in the news the last five to ten years. Well, yeah, Carlson's been the best player in the world for the last five to ten years, so. And then, uh, if, you're, if you're paying mostly attention to that point in time, then, of course, you'll think he's the best. So I won't listen to all this. So who, you, this is the best throughout history? Yeah. Like, the top. Um, I already got left. I'll just go ahead and check it. Rick C1 right. was a good try, but he never played F6 just to save... Oh, always repeat. <laughs> this makes up for never play F6. Oh, he's trying to be nice. I'm going to take this draw. But you know, okay. that, that wasn't a draw. Weird stuff there. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know. All right, but thank you. GG. You know, if you had no pawns, <laughs> it, it uh, might be a draw if you didn't have any pawns. Um, yeah. Yeah, it could Is be it a draw. One of the... Um, Super rooks. Might not be, though. Probably not. Like a stalemate trick where yeah. I sack the rook. But he can probably run away and take with the queen somehow. And then you won't be in stalemate as long as the queen moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, GG, Lowell. Let's take a quick peek mm -hmm. at how it went down. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't need to play h3 here because he didn't play a d6 and knight h5. Not the idea like it was in the king's Indian. Mm -hmm. And, in fact, h3 is probably a little bit inaccurate because bishop d6 you more or less just be forced to trade it was forced yeah it was forced but actually you had another tempo here so you played a different option mm -hmm. whereas usually in this line like let's say you, you play knight f3 or knight d2 and they uh they go for this you could play bishop g3 and then you could play h takes if they take it i felt like i was forced to draw the trace though because of this because when the um Queen. It's because you played h3. Though, I know. That's why. I'm yeah, agreeing. Exactly. I'm saying I saw that exactly. because you said I had another option, but then I still had to trade. After this was the option queens. that I meant instead of bishop takes bishop. I know, but when he went queen, didn't he go queen c7? Yeah. Yeah. Then I. F uh, then, yeah, I see what you mean. Then, yeah, I had to you go ahead to and trade. trade I trade everything, so it was still the same problem. We lost mm -hmm. the tempo because mm -hmm. right, typically, yeah. yeah, I get my knight. Now you've got one move here. Actually, you could go mm -hmm. here. Yeah, that, okay, that's yeah. an interesting move. Okay, you don't want to have to trade everything. Mm -hmm. You might get a position where it's like, I don't know. I'm trying to get where you have, where you trade dark square bishops and bishop for knight, and maybe you can get good knight against bad bishop, in that case. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, this would have been avoided if not for the early h3 exactly. So yeah. here he could consider this, right? Um. That might be better. Also, even this is better. Right? But this is like the worst of all the captures, I think. Let's see if it's possible to play bishop f4. Bishop f4 is best. Mm -hmm. But bc is actually not bad. It likes bc a little bit Very more than similar. c6. Yeah, yeah there's, they all seem Actually, yeah, they're all pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, fluorescent... Ugh, I can't talk. Fluorescent <laughs> potato. Yeah, we were talking about Spencer... Getting his FM title. I think, you know, he obviously could if he wanted to put the time in. Maybe I will. <laughs> yeah, you should. Definitely. He's thinking about it. We have to encourage him. But we'll see. I think he can do it. E5 is definitely not right. I mean, in this structure, you want to break with C5. You know, or if you want to play E5, which you shouldn't, you probably should castle first. This was good, but now you should play F3. Well, you have to worry about the check, I guess. So maybe castles. You got to play f three though. You got to break that down. Mm -hmm. You got to break that down. Yeah, that's that's the way to play it. Maybe even now, check queen f two is not terrible. I wish I had castled. <laughs> right, you could castle here, yeah. I mean, you could have castled instead of king d two, but you were feeling creative, I guess. I thought it was going to be fun, but. It really wasn't. Yeah, this is a good move. He just wants to break. That's mm -hmm. a good move anyway. That's why he played it so quickly. He was just ready to play that move. Yeah, now he should be playing... Uh, the. Okay, but he's kicking you away first. Then he got this. Now you're in rough shape. He's just mm -hmm. in total control. Yeah, yeah. He got this. He got that. Yeah, no, he played it well mm -hmm. from there. Then d4 is coming. There it is. He even played rook f d8. That was nice. Why not get all the pieces in, right? Patient stuff. Mm -hmm. Really nice, yeah. 
<laughs> no, he played it well after King D2. It was probably a mistake to play King D2, and, and he punished it mm -hmm, pretty hard. Definitely. <laughs> but then he didn't win on purpose, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> King D2 made the bong too cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was in, in bong cloud style, definitely. All well, right. I thought he meant that he was so shocked that as he was smoking marijuana, it somehow, I don't, oh. I, I don't know what I thought he He, he gasped as he was inhaling. Right. All right, all right, I understand. And then it was also that nice <laughs> bong cloud opening reference to which it, yeah maybe it was it's on like it works on many levels right you know? <laughs> poetic that way did you want to get the um i think you know, so yeah started? let's um just um just we're already as 50 minutes i didn't even notice it mm, uh, just as a reminder um we're doing the john nunn book we're probably about 85 percent the way through i think i looked the other day and today's lesson is on the car caro con caro con 85 percent okay yeah so cool. And you know that might even include like a glossary, you know. That's true. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or or games that we might not right, choose exactly. to show. Right. Exactly. I agree with yeah. that. Anyway, let's get it going. All right. I'll have to set up the position, so it'll take me just a moment. Yeah. Who's in the queue? Oh, that is a good point. We should probably say in case. So Drain, then Ar What does it say? Armageddon. Yeah. And then April Coco. That's who we have right now. Mm -hmm. There are none good nun jokes <laughs> left. Sad life. I know we did them all. That is too bad. I hate when that happens. And I'm none too happy about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Right. What is our guy? What are what is our take on the Pog Champs? Well, I think that um it's definitely gotten a lot of people interested in chess, and um has been good for chess and it's fun. I like to check in with it, but for me, you know, if I'm not a fan of the streamers, you, you know, it doesn't capture my imagination quite as much. But I do like to watch it a little. I enjoy the commentary and all the different people that participate it's fun but i don't feel like i have to watch every minute of it because even i'm better than most of the chess players are so the chess no i mean the chess is bad it's bad yeah, chess yeah. and so but i don't i i, I think it's a fine event <laughs> it's alf thaddeus not elf wait where did where's he thaddeus the pink one. Oh, do you remember elf he's back in pog form yeah that was for that's from the simpsons when, uh, so what happens is Millhouse trades the thing for pogs, like little, uh, like little pogs, you mm -hmm. know? And so one of them was Alf, you know? He's like, you remember Alf? He's back in pog form. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> yeah. Now he's booing me because I'm right. <laughs> you almost had the joke right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, only one letter off. That's pretty good. It's pretty accurate, I would say. All right, so... Pog people. We do say pog people. Hopefully uh, Black mm -hmm. won't castle this game, huh? Because I won't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. This is Cobalia against Lo Lonker. I don't know who that guy is. Uh, from 2010, European Championship. This is a typical position with the Karo Khan pawn structure, which consists of d4 versus c6 and e6. It can ar arise from a range of openings, although the Karo and Scandinavian are the most common. Here white has the two bishops and a slight space advantage, but black's position is very solid, and the lack of any likely pawn breaks renders it hard for white to make progress. A key idea in such positions is to play knight e5, like that, uh, which allows white to gain more s space by advancing his kingside pawns, f4, and even protects for g4. And yeah, I'll say that I have this structure all the time with white, all the time. Uh, because uh, if I play e4, I play the main line of the Carol Khan, which is knight c3, and takes on d4. I don't play like advanced Carol Khan. So I get the structure all the time, and I'm always trying to play knight e5 and, and push my g-pawn and stuff. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, but here, of course, if you play knight e5, there's a potential trade, uh, which, which usually trades aren't going to favor white. I'll also say that in this structure, from my knowledge, that uh, the typical idea is, is usually to castle opposite sides if possible. Uh, for white. That, that'll be the easiest way to exploit your space advantage 
if both sides are checkmating each other. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a space advantage, you can go from one side to the other more freely, generally. So you should be a little bit faster, in theory. In practice, you know, who knows. But all right, uh, he goes for 95 anyway. And now black plays h5 dubious, an inaccuracy, since it unnecessarily gives white the extra option mentioned in the following note. The correct move order is to take here first, then like this, castle queen side. Oh, I knew it. Didn't I say uh, it? Didn't I say that? Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. Anyways, th this is actually the last move of the variation, so okay. I just to do it, which right. transposes to the game. But by playing h5 first, he allowed a different option, which white actually did not accept. White played h3, which will transpose. But instead, knight takes d7, x-clam. is very awkward. Uh, if queen takes, it's going to be queen takes question mark. d5, x-clam is disastrous for black. Certainly. Certainly. If you take this way, it's there. If you take this way, I call the director. And if you take this way, it's still rook takes x-clam. Because again, if you take this way, it's there. So d5 x clan, you love that one. E pawn can't take. That's why I said I'd call the director. Yeah. Um, or mm -hmm. after knight takes, he gives uh, knight takes, of course. Still d5. Opens the position favorably for white's bishops because he deflected the knight away from d5. So king takes is the best move in this case. d5, you know, if you didn't expect that by now. But now it's actually the most complicated because it's a sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. Here. Throws in this check. Look at, oh, uh, I know why. Because it's going to be takes, takes, rook takes would have forked the king and bishop. So check protects the bishop. So you won't do that fork. I see. He still takes it, though. Yeah, see, now it would if he didn't include this move, your bishop would be gone. So he goes here. This was actually all been played before. Still theory. Was very good for white in Howell Kogan from 2005. So this position happened, and Howell understood that he should take the extra option afforded to him and play knight takes. And that's why black should take here instead of h5. But black played h5 first, and white didn't punish him. White played h3. And now they do the same thing that they should have been done. But now I'm going to have to make a castling by hand, so bear with me here for a moment. <laughs> King takes is ridiculous. Hey, Bonarici, how's it going? King takes is the best, though, <laughs> even though it's ridiculous. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Wondering, as directors, do you want players to call you every time an illegal move is played? Yes, and because I have to ch change your clock anyway. Other small things, or are there any issues players should handle themselves? Um, Generally, no, I want you to... I'm there to solve the issues. You shouldn't be arguing with each other at all. So it's very rare that... Uh, I mean, if it's like hitting the clock with a different hand... You know, you can just tell your opponent, hey, hit the clock with the same hand. You know? Right. I agree with that. I would say I agree with Spencer. That's the way that I TD, too. I think especially the main reason you have to call the TD is because of the clock time change. It's really... Um, yeah, exactly. Right. Because I have to do that. I mean, I don't want you to change the clock if you're playing. The, because you know. the problem is people don't always pay attention to the then they don't know what time they had right then people make mistakes they just you need to get the td and then you're responsible like yeah. if i make a mistake i'm responsible so then you can blame me yeah but, but you don't want to be responsible for that you'd be yeah. surprised how many people clear the clock and then they don't know how much time is. yeah totally totally <laughs> anyway. isn't the bishop supposed to be on c3 saying now to avoid confusion later kwsk no no he played uh he played bishop d2 actually and so uh after castle's queen side, it's it's white's turn. Yeah, this is correct. He played bishop d2, then castle's queen side. But thanks for looking out, Mr. Goat. Hey, WSK again. I will I will say that one thing I do, 
<laughs> Always blame someone else. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, I play a lot of、um, extra rated games to make the the rounds, so everybody has an opponent here at the club. So sometimes I'll play. You know, I'll be playing like an eight year old. You know, I'm just crushing them. I'm not gonna get the TD. I'm just gonna whisper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if they're like beginners and stuff, I'm just gonna、yeah. whisper. I'll just turn the clock back to they're turning it. That's illegal. Make a yeah, different yeah. move. I don't need the two minutes. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Then I will just whisper, "Hey, that's you know, do that," and we'll just put it back. Keep going. Yeah, you can pause the clock if the piece. You can pause the clock if the position's ridiculous and fix all the pieces and then start it again.、Mm -hmm. Totally. Absolutely. All right, so let's continue on here. Now、okay. it's White's turn. This is the correct position, hopefully. G four and F four, and I get a diagram to check. It looks correct. Absolutely. At first sight, White is clearly better since he has the bishop pair and appears to be gaining useful space on the king side. However, Black's pieces are well placed, and the bishop on D two isn't exactly pulling its weight. Black has to keep his pieces on active squares, or the latent assets of White's position. Will become dominant. All right, so you know my perspective here is that, from my experience, I don't love the structure when I have to play d takes e,、uh, because of how symmetrical it is. It gives less winning chances,、mm -hmm. and a lot of times stuff just gets traded like rooks on the d file.、Um, and also, like Nun saying, Black's pieces are extremely active. I mean, these are great pieces, and the fact that a, a couple of pieces have been traded. Uh, is also favoring black. If I could put more pieces on the board、uh, with white, I'd be happy. So even though white does have the bishop pair and more space, black does have some things favoring him here.、Uh, but still, you know, the best black can generally hope for is like equality.、Mm -hmm. Hey, man, math, how's it going? Yeah. And giant testicles. Good name there. Might、mm -hmm. be six question mark. This move is wrong. Black voluntarily withdraws the knight from its forward post. And at the same time, blocks his queen. Queen b6 x clam. More active move, definitely. Get that queen active. This is correct. Keeping the knight on d5 and bringing the queen to a better position. After rook d f1. Oh, he also looks at rook h f1. This would be a good time to open up the h file. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Oh, your your Ben's namesake. <laughs> He'll be happy to hear that that you're not、uh, tiny chesticles. <laughs> And, and trying to be the namesake. <laughs> This is good for Black, or like we were saying, the main line was for D F one. Also takes trades it, gaining a tempo, I guess, because he went here then there, and Queen D four.、Mm -hmm. White has no more than a microscopic edge. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I think, Black's coming in.、What's、yeah, Black's、on? got a lot of activity. You know. Yeah. This is weak. He's touching everything. <laughs> you know, even this. It makes it harder to, but okay, his rook is good, and it's still two bishops, and and like I said, you know, usually black can't really do better than than equality unless、uh, of a blunder, you know, which which obviously it's always possible.、Mm -hmm. So knight b six question mark. Sort of gave up the h file for nothing there. Queen d seven question mark. This allows white a tactical breakthrough. Should have put it back, admitting he was wrong. <laughs> Here, threatening this, so there. This is better, holding up f5. Although thanks to Black's waste of time, White retains a definite advantage. Yeah, because Black did all this, he has to play passively now to stop this.、Mm. And because of that, now our bishop can possibly get active. Like we can do a lot of things. I like this idea. Go here. We can get do this or that. Both are good moves. Yeah, if I can reroute that, I also want to play like King B one and Bishop B three.、Mm -hmm. I got a lot of little improvements I can make.、And、he goes for this. Yeah, two bishops, Vatels. Uh. F five, X clam. E six. Here comes the bishop. Queen E seven. After Queen C seven, here's this. And that, the advanced f pawn is decisive. Got this as an idea. Also, you can just sort of try to play normal with the bishop. If you go here, you can. Yeah, but maybe like this. So he goes here. 
this. Queen e5, x clam. See, queen c7 would have stopped queen e5. Mm -hmm. So now he takes this extra option because queen e7 was, was the choice, which was a better defense, actually. But it gives him this option, x clam. Suddenly, the exposed position of black's king becomes a major factor. You know, he could even just do like this. Mate. Why was bishop a2 played? His bishop was attacked, so he uh, he moved it. Is instead all. of bishop b3. Oh, oh, instead of bishop b3. Uh. Oh, that is kind of a good question. You know what? I should prefer that. I think I would prefer that. Yeah, why, why not? How could that be worse? Yeah, it seems to give so much um, needed help with the c2 pawn. Right, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, that was kind of weird. But whatever, I guess it didn't matter. I mean, he probably had some reason in some variation. Yeah. But, you know, it didn't happen. Queen e5, x glam, f e. He also looks at this move. There, I like that. Just don't take the rook, yes. G6. So if takes, this might be the idea. Is it? No, no, because it's that. But what is the... I guess it's just that he desperately needs to get off of this because this is uh, going to win. So he desperately needs to kick the queen away for that reason. But this is a win. The f-pawn is just too strong. It has the rook helping too in case you want to go here. We check and go there anyway. And the queen defends it by x-ray. Unless we get mated, of course. Right? <laughs> don't, don't get mated now. Come on. Oh, this is not the easiest, then. No, we just... No, no, this still gets mated. I told myself not to get mated, but then look what happened. <laughs> All right, so you have to do a little bit more work, right? Why not queen takes f7? The bishop is here. Or wait, maybe... Oh, maybe for white. No, he wants to play e takes. He wants to... He wants to promote it, yeah. But I guess queen takes is also reasonable. Right, I think it's it's because of this here and then there. And this should still win. This should still win. The pawn is just too good. It'll win in the long term, just slowly. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, etc. I mean, this just looks like it's obviously winning in every variation, so I don't know why the details matter, actually. You know, the pawn is just going to win all mm -hmm. the time. So he took it. That's the most reasonable defense, yeah. But then this is happening now. This is what I mentioned earlier. There's no defense to the threat of queen b8 check. And then after, you can run the guy's king here, rook check, to win the rook on d8. So he goes for this. But now we can take the knight to give ourselves queen c7 again. Which is what he did, and then resigns. By the way, you don't want to... Well, this might win too, actually. But you don't want to go here and then here... Because now the queen's not touching the rook, so this doesn't immediately end the game. So that's why he took the knight first, so that he can go to c7, hitting the rook, and then rook h8 next. And black didn't want to see that, so he resigned. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, very interesting game. Black definitely lost his way uh, when he didn't play as actively as possible. We saw the queen... In one variation, even coming in here, right? Like, that's a, and that's an active queen. Like you said yourself, you're like, oh, this looks pretty scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, absolutely. Absolutely. Instead, he displayed this, I guess, hoping for knight takes bishop. But white saw it, and then he's worse. And then queen d7 was also imprecise, because f5 was tactically justified. And then e6. This is a great idea. And this, this is really the two bishops at work, you know. The dark square bishop has no no opposition, and he plays tactically to open up the dark squares. Yeah, very instructive right. stuff. Very yeah. instructive stuff there. 
Like, I don't think, for example, Karen, I don't know that you would play that and that with that idea. No, you know, and, definitely I, no and I was stuff. just looking at that. And so let me ask a question and sure. go ahead and go like uh, that? the next. Two. Yeah. So if, um, so what was played? I'm sorry, what was, what would be played? What's he played here. But but what would be the best move if the e, if e six was played? Like what would Black's best reply to that? This move? was the best move. Queen e seven was. Oh, the that best is move. the best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, okay, your queen's attacked, and obviously yeah. you can't take it because bishop takes wins your queen. So you're just gonna have to move your queen. We looked at both queen moves. Oh, okay. This one, the problem was, uh, he said this is just decisive, but why? Yeah. Why? Oh, right. You can't play the same way with queen e seven. You can't you can't take this because it's pinned. That's the point of queen e seven. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. It that. keeps the pin, so you can't take here with the pawn. The problem with queen e seven though is that was that it allowed queen e five, as opposed to queen c seven, which stopped it. Mm -hmm. So what black couldn't stop both ideas. Okay, I see now. And yeah, that that was, those were the twin seven. plans. He opens up the dark squares for mate, and he also gets his past f pawn going, and that's too, this is too much for black to handle in this position. Oh, it's Fortuna. Yay. Hey, Fortuna. How's it going? Bonarici, I like suffering, <laughs> says Red right. Moth. All right, so let's see. What well, time you know, is... Black could have gotten more active, you know, in that 12. game with, with Queen B6. So he sort of chose to suffer, I guess. I think yeah. we still got You'll time, right? When is, time. Uh, when is the Grandmaster going to be in anyway? We got plenty of time. I just yeah. was curious. He was kind of at maybe like 6.30 even, so... All right. Keep, yeah. Keep it. He says, playing knight e5 and advancing the kingside pawns doesn't always give white an advantage, like how we just saw. Indeed, in some cases, it has precisely the opposite effect. All right, so I'll have to set this one up. Mm -hmm. Looks like a, a real mainline stuff here. I might even... No, no. I don't think I know this position because of a5 thrown in there. And rook, rook H, E1, and such, too. Like that, get our knights in here. And uh, the structure that we're studying. What did I do wrong? There it is. Okay. All right, so this is, uh, let me type in the names here, Leiko against Ivanchuk. We just uh, had a mm. lecture on Ivanchuk. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, this is weird. The SO command didn't work. I think that maybe um, maybe Mobot's not working right now. <clears throat> from This is from 2008. Lenares, which is funny because the Ivanchuk was from Lenares. Yeah, that is funny. <laughs> the Ivanchuk lecture, <laughs> yeah. What a coincidence. But it was, you know, uh, a decade and uh, 17 years later or so. Yeah, Ben just did a lecture on this. Yeah. Again, we have the Carol Khan pawn structure, but here the combination of minor pieces is somewhat different. You know, white doesn't have the uh, the bishop pair, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I did a slash. I did a slash instead of the exclam. Duh. That's why it didn't work. <laughs> but Bla black lacks the active light square bishop that he had in the previous example. Mm. Once again, knight e5 is the only realistic method of making progress for white. But Leiko plays a very Leiko-like move here. Bishop c1, dubious. What does he think? It's bishop f1? <laughs> kind of is, yeah. Castle queenside. Mm -hmm. White should try knight e5 uh, right away, although it is by no means certain that this secures an advantage. Go Ivanchuk. If they had gone like knight e5... Yeah. What would, um... Black response? Yeah, yeah, like... Well, there's no threat, so you don't really have to trade knights. So he could probably play the same way. So he wouldn't take it? Well, it, I was thinking if he goes here, there might be some sacrifice with queen g6. And then rook takes here, and then knife f5. But, okay, you know, you'd have to calculate all that. Because mm -hmm. check, there's also this takes. Yeah, actually, maybe rook fd8 is not good because of that. That's possible. That okay. looks pretty scary to me. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I'm not really much of a Karo Khan player as black, although I have played a, a bit of Karo Khan. 
Um, but yeah, he could take, uh, but then, you know, after takes, you have to ask yourself where the knight's going, right? Knight g4 is a possibility to hit this. Or knight d7, it's a little bit more passive and scarier because it's loose on the d file there with the, the doubled major pieces after, you know, bishop h6, for example, probably just wins material. So, yeah, he'd okay. have to, you know, calculate the ramifications of knight g4. What about knife f5 instead of knight e5? Knife f5, bishop b4, definitely. Yeah, man moth. That's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. You know, I want to start getting crazy, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, we can start getting crazy. I think you just take here, though, and move the king. Yeah, yeah, you just take here. No, that's that's uh, that's not too good for white, probably. Means maybe, but yeah, bishop b4 should be solid then. Unless there's some different sacrifices, but yeah, there's always some sacrifices in the air, right? Mm -hmm. There's always some sacrifices in the air. That's the <laughs> nice thing about playing white in this type of structure, is that uh, well, okay, black can build a, a an attack on the queen side here, sure, but there's always going to be these sacrificial ideas that we already saw a couple here and there. And knife f5 and such. Even some knight sacrifice too is playable. But okay, so he plays bishop c1 dubious. Yeah. Yeah, rook e6 also a sacrificial idea. I like that one. That's like a tall type of deal. He likes to do that. R.I.P. And now he goes knight e5 dubious. Now this is too late. Even a3 like this, and b5, leaves black with a comfortable position. Yeah, see, now black is building an attack against white's king, clearly. And I uh, should consider himself with some counterplay. I guess white, if white ever takes and trades queens, that'll stop the attack, but that'll just be a bad structure. You'll have an isolated pawn for nothing. Yeah. And a bad bishop, too, in that case. Well, well, I guess you you could immediately play d5, though. But, okay, now white's just trying to equalize. You know, I think he can achieve equality, though, like this. Well, even that's hanging right. But, okay, anyways. He's not mm -hmm. trying. He's not playing for an advantage there, so. You, you could do anything to try to equalize. Knight e5, dubious. He takes it. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Hey, Salty, how's it going? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I couldn't. That's right. We I did couldn't watch. linger on your stream. I saw you playing as well. Because, I saw um, you were pre-moving. You were pre-moving, and your opponent was pre-moving, and then it was just mate. You just made it him. Yeah. That was too funny. It was great, and I was bra talking about how much I like your stream, and then we had to go because we were streaming. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so no worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were down a queen, that's right. <laughs> but you had the two bishops. That's what it was. Yeah. Well, welcome. All right, so takes, takes. He trades it here. And knight d7. Yeah, but the space advantage is not as meaningful with a lot of material off the board. And black's pieces are very active still mm -hmm. and on good squares. So, yeah. Black has a slight advantage, says none. The advance of white's kingside pawns, far from being a source of strength, have left gaping holes behind. In contrast to the previous example, black's pieces are more actively posted, and as pieces are exchanged, he is likely to be able to penetrate into white's position with his queen. Yeah, that's a good point. The more pieces that get exchanged, the safer it is for the queen to start sneaking in here. Won't get trapped, you know, if you trade off a couple more minor pieces. Yeah, yeah I didn't even think about that point. All right, so he goes for this. White hurries to swap off the well-placed knight, which might otherwise jump into d3 at some stage. Well, he could do it now, right? That's what I was saying. The knight's pretty frightening. <laughs> but I guess uh, I guess you just kick it away. Yeah. Because this is defended. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You could go here, but we'll just trade rooks and move our queen. So he swapped him. Like, in, in general, exchanges aren't bad for black, you know. Why, why would it be? Queen b6, interesting. An interesting idea. Ivanchik offers a pawn to penetrate with his queen and exploit white's ragged king, kingside pawns. 
Queen takes question mark. Now black's advantage becomes serious. Rook e1 is better. Pretty passive move. Black has an advantage after a3. But white retains drawing chances. I mean, obviously black's pieces are just really good. Mm -hmm. And whites are pretty passive. And the space advantage on the king side is totally meaningless. Nobody's even looking over here. Nobody look, nobody look. <laughs> so he took question mark. So Leiko understood that. He's like, my position's bad. I might as well be up a pawn and he gets counterplay. You know? Mm -hmm. Queen g1. And rook d1. Black's grip on the position is worth far more than a pawn. Yeah, this is awful. He can't hardly move anything. Bishop c5, dubious, so it's a good looking move. Too subtle. Just take it. Followed by returning to f1. <laughs> Regains the pawn while retaining the pressure. You think it's boring? I'm sorry, but we, but um, <laughs> we're going to finish. <laughs> we're not quitters. Now, come on, fluorescent. I don't know. I kind of uh, I kind of like this example. But it is Laco, so you can just blame Laco. I don't know much about Laco's Pretty boring play. play. Oh, in general? Oh, yeah. A lot tried, of draws. He got so far with that boring play, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in line. Hey, it's Yikity. Yeah, hey, Yikity. No, obviously, he's super duper strong. When he plays people who are under 2,700, he's an enormous favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, when he played other super gems, it was a lot of draws, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, you wouldn't expect him to lose with white and in a mainline Karo Khan, generally. You know, usually white keeps a draw on hand in, in this, uh, at this st at this level, you know. But okay, he didn't take and go back, he just played bishop c5, giving Leiko a chance to defend the pawn. Uh, there's also rook d2, trying to mate and, well, I guess not mate, right? But, it, but if you play this, then mate. So, you know, better watch it. <laughs> bishop d4, x clam. This, this is the variation none gives. G3. C5. Yeah, this is a great bishop, huh? Mm-hmm. Pretty annoying. Yeah. Here, and then queen f1. Gives black a winning position. The point of queen f1 is to threaten rook takes c1. Queen takes c1, queen takes d3. Okay, so he played queen d2. Rook d1. Stopping the, the check counterplay there. No counterplay. Bishop d4 still. And c5. Mm -hmm. See, Lego's desperate to not let him play c5. Like, no way am I going to let you establish the bishop there for the rest of the game, right? At least here, theoretically, yeah. I can kick the bishop away in the future. Yeah, true. Yeah. You think chess is a boring game? <laughs> I don't think it's boring. I mean, we just need to play some more. Well, yeah, b4, but okay, he's going to... Uh, you know, when are you going to play it? Like, for example, in this variation, when we did it, uh, if you play b4 now, well, I, I guess I could uh, I could take this, yeah. I oh. thought a, few, a couple yeah. moves ago they could take it. But... No, you, the bishop was hanging, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The queen had right. to, it, was tethered, it was tethered to the bishop. Um, okay. But, yeah, now he is threatening to take, so that's why rook d3. So here, if you play b4... And then queen f one's the next move, threatening rook takes c1. And I mean, it, this is a little bit desperate to expose your king. Mm -hmm. Just hoping. I mean, he could at least just play b6 if he really needs to keep it steady. But yeah, this position is just awful for white. The queen and rook here. Can't do anything. Here. King a2 question mark. White collapses. It's move 35, so he's probably in time pressure too, huh? Mm -hmm. Here is the best move. Pretty scary looking move to play, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, aligned up with the the enemy rook there. I guess you already saw, saw all that. <laughs> well, this, is, this was just, uh, you know, a variation that not oh, have, yeah. variation. This is what you um, should have done. Oh, I should have done. I thought he did. John John says, not liking chess is fine, but why is he here then? <laughs> yeah, that is that is a good question, actually. Well, sometimes people like to try things out. 
-hmm. or maybe they don't really mean it's boring they just I mean sometimes Goofing. it's boring yeah so he played king a2 question mark instead of mm -hmm. this dangerous looking move loneliness all sorts of reasons man what is left with a hopeless task since his remaining pawns are so weak yeah g4 mm -hmm. dubious only exposing the pawns further but the position is lost in any case He still got bishop d4, c5 after all, huh? Yikes. It's a fact. Well. A natural fact. <laughs> Ooh, I what? like that. Queen h1 check and then back to a8. Mm. And if you take this, it's... Uh, there's that. there's facts, you know, and there's fake news. <laughs> yeah, mm. I got him. Yeah, it's rare to see Leiko get so uh, positionally crushed. You know, he's usually a very solid positional mm -hmm. player, but uh, Ivanchuk got him this game. What you know? What can you say? Ivanchuk showed him what's what. That's exactly right. Scottish team and goat. <laughs> yeah, no wonder he beat uh, Kasparov and Karpov in the same tournament. Yeah, <laughs> fluorescent potato. <laughs> oh. Yeah, defend chess to the death there, fluorescent potato. <laughs> Ivancha capped blasting. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I'm happy to keep going. Let me see what time. He said six thirty, but... though, right? Well. It wasn't real clear because I think I told him I, that we would go until about 6.45. All right. So he said he would arrive at 6.30. Right, 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 right. And right. then set up. Well, let's do one more uh, one more example. Hopefully Kangaroo's still here because this one's uh, same-ish King's Indian structure. Oh, is it? Yeah, his favorite. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I don't I think I just, well, I don't know if Kangaroo's here. Genius is overused, but Chucky is. Yeah. <laughs> a genius. I don't know much about Ivan Chuk. I'm yeah, trying to learn a little cool. bit about the different chess players because I'm not very knowledgeable about them. <laughs> All right. He is here. Yay. Yay. Go whoever is white. This is Bu Zhangji against Tsvagintsev. And in this book, they spell Tsvagintsev way different than I've seen. Mm -hmm. Like there's extra, an extra I there maybe, and, and yeah, I don't think the T I usually see that either. But anyways, I'm glad you pointed that out because it's usually I see different. Yeah, a different spelling. I know it might, but that's be how it goes because obviously it, it's Cyrillic normally. Yeah, so it's just like true. a rough phonetic translation. Mm -hmm. My hair's sticking up. It's annoying. I think I fixed it. Yeah, I don't think I do. All right. Uh, she is going to play viewers, absolutely, after uh, after maybe one or two more examples. Yeah, yeah. Korchnoi is a good example of a, a crazy spelling, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so here White aims to build up a wide but solid center, supported by the f3 pawn. He then has two possible plans, either continue positionally, aiming to maintain his space advantage into the middle game, or use his central control as the basis for a kingside attack. Black must strive for counterplay by trying to break up White's center and exploiting the slight lack of development that results from White's many pawn moves. Plays knight g e2, which is, uh, I guess, less common than bishop e3, but more common than bishop g5. Mm -hmm. a6. Black will attempt to punch holes in White's center with a combination of b5 and e5. Yeah. Hey Farnsley, how's it going? Hey Dr. Xmas Easy and Prophylaxis. White decides to go for a kingside attack. Uh, let's see, h5. A typical move to counter White's attack on the fianchettoed position. Now if White wants to break through to on the kingside, he must sacrifice a pawn with g4. Yeah, uh, Napomio. 
the Bomniachi, right? <laughs> yeah, his name's Ian, but he, well, it's Ian. Oh, Ian. is he saying that's how to say oh, yeah. yeah, he's telling us how to pronounce every <laughs> everything phonetically. Right. No, knight c6, I mean, this is a way to play. They're trying to play b5. You, you can see black going for this uh, this set, exact setup also against the fee and cut out King's Indian uh, if white plays g3 instead of f3, e4. So a lot of times people with black, they'll play the same way against both of those variations because it's the same idea. Mm -hmm. And they'll just know the little differences with white setup. Okay. Yeah, I hope, hope you can catch him. <laughs> Good night, WSK. Take it I'm easy. I'm sorry that Ben's schedule was out of date. But um, he doesn't. He, we update it. He never follows it exactly. Anyway, so I hope you mm -hmm. catch him too. <laughs> All right. So h five. He plays bishop h six, e five. See, black likes that you're gonna trade dark square bishops. Now I'll put stuff on dark squares. So that's why he timed e five this way. Goes queen side, and then b five. Of course, b five when he castles queen side. Yeah, immediately start attacking. Yeah, it's blasting, I would put it, but yes. Mm -hmm. And now knight d5. Interesting move. <laughs> wow. Very tense position now. A lot of uh, possible captures, right? All this stuff could be traded. Threatening knight takes f6. Uh, obviously, bishop takes would lose the rook. But if knight takes, queen takes, bishop g5 wins. If queen e6, which would be the only safe square for the queen, you get forked with d5. Karen style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Wait, now how does bishop takes lose the rook? Oh, oh, okay. I got confused. You're saying if knight takes knight. Can't okay. play bishop takes. Oh, bishop takes. Pins, right. I, okay. So he goes for rook e8 to get out of that. Now he will play bishop takes. Mm -hmm. And now Bu Zhangxi plays the most craziest move, g4. Just putting as much tension in the position as humanly possible, really. Mm -hmm. What's the game? It's uh, Bu Zhangji against Tsvagansev, Russian Team Championship 2008. Uh, G4, dubious. White consistently pursues his attack, but this ultra-aggressive move might have rebounded. Well, I guess it didn't rebound. Uh, he should have played this. This is safer with approximate equality. It's kind of weird to give no variation <laughs> when it's just super complicated. Mm. But, uh, well, you know, it's maybe even still theory, right? We could check the Explorer. Oh, there are no games. There was one. Oh, yeah, that's this is the game, right? Look, the mm. only game is with G4. That's This is the game we're looking oh, at. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, they got that game in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fisher quit the kid because of Samish. Is that true? Hmm. It's hard to believe. All right, yes, f4 next, and then g5. Well, <laughs> anyways, hg, h5, gf. Uh, if knight takes h5, question mark, that's strongly met by knight g3, x clam. Trying to get the knight off of here so I can take this and play queen h6 and mate you. In fact, that's what he says takes. This is winning for white. If knight takes rook, queen h6 is still mating you. Threatening knight f6, nice. which would win the queen and queen h8 mate, and, and mm -hmm. so on. This is probably what uh, was driving Bu Zhangji to play this way. He saw variations like this, and it attracted him to play g4. Yeah. And uh, so he plays gf, though. If f takes e2, question mark, do this, sacking a piece, gives white a winning attack. No analysis here. Sacked a piece for... Um, is it zero pawns? Yeah, it's zero pawns, right? Yeah. But this, I mean, this looks terrible. We got all these, look at all these ideas I got. I got tons of ideas. I probably even have more ideas than that. Mm. But I'll believe it's winning, you know. During a game, I might be a little nervous, you know, if I had white. Like, I might not be winning, but if he says it's winning, it's winning. Looks pretty scary. Yeah, we'll see real quick what the engine says. Oh, all does. right. Yeah. Can't hurt. Lines. Let's see if he's right. All right. Oh. Yeah. Put, oh, 
Oh, excuse me. It goes me, like plus mine. eight, then it's like because it thinks it finds a reasonable defense, but then it can't. It, yeah. it refutes the defense. Okay. So it's plus ten. Yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> plus ten is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Down a piece for zero pawns. Plus seven, I guess. Yeah. Seemed yeah, that's pretty about winning. Right. Seemed pretty winning. All right. Yeah. It just looks like ridiculous. All right. He goes knight takes d4 question mark. So this is where he should have punished Bu Zhangji. A natural but incorrect move. In such a position, the smallest mistake can prove fatal. And now white has a long but white has a long but more or less forced win. Black has two better lines. Let's look at them both. Here's the first one. He could have taken this. Let me give that. Here it comes. Check. Obviously wants to trade the queens, right? Rook h4. So, uh, uh, okay, here's the point. You can't say trade queens. Because of the bishop. Because of the bishop. Yeah. And then if you go here, that's good. Bishop h3. Hmm. Also, that's good. <laughs> Winning mm -hmm. everything. I didn't see yeah. that. So, this variation continues. Knight e5. Okay. Check. That's the move you want to play. Giving back some material there. What's even going on here, huh? C5. Black has three pawns, but they don't offer quite enough compensation for the piece. I mean, even this position looks crazy. But okay, this is at least better than how the game went. But black does have even better than this. This long forcing variation. Knight g4 x clam is the best defense. After bishop g5, queen c8 x clam. Not queen b8 question mark. The queen's actually, I think, needed to defend this. Bishop h3 x clam. Okay. For example, here, there. This crazy variation happens. This is so Check. many moves and so crazy. Yeah, if takes, takes, I got my rook and my queen in. So king f7. Knight takes g4. See, it did It did need to be protected. I was right. Yeah, you did say that. It this did... gives white a dangerous attack. And he's not even down material. So yeah, this is, this is good for white. But instead of queen b8, queen c8 is the best defense. For example, he just takes here now. So he's not even going for the attack anymore. He's just collecting material. The complications are in black's favor, he says. Well, all right. <laughs> I have no idea. Right. I mean, during a game, you would just sit here confused. Yeah. You wouldn't know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, resign you with both colors. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the Laco game was boring, but this one is not. And you got names like Bu Zhangji and, and Zvagensev. Mm hmm. Well, Bu Zhangji is pretty solid sometimes, though. So he's sort of an all around player. You would just mentally roll the dice, giant chesticles. <laughs> Suddenly, chess isn't so boring. That's right. Take that, Privy. <laughs> All of Black's moves have been forced. Now White strikes with a deadly exchange sacrifice. <laughs> Rook takes d4 x clam. Yeah, my dad should be here for this one. See, now he doesn't have control of f4, right? Check. Bishop f5. Uh, if you run away to not hang the bishop, here's this move. And then this. And then boom, shakalaka, because queen f6 is made if you take it. So he goes there. This is how the game went. And then there. That'll show you. Mm -hmm. Here comes the check. Even this is, like, pretty messy, huh? Doubles it up. If he does this... F6. Uh, 
Okay. It's a weird variation. <laughs> Anyways, after here, check, it. he resigned. After king f8, f6, f7, deflecting it. And mates. Nice. Mm -hmm. That is nice. <laughs> it's too sane. <laughs> yeah, you have to stop uh, queen h8. That's why queen g8 is forced. And then yeah. I guess this move isn't technically forced, but I should probably play it. But yeah, then mate. Yeah, really complicated game. Bu Zhangji, he went, uh, he went pretty hard with g4 there. Which was objectively wrong because, you know, 10 moves later, he, Black could have done better, <laughs> you know. But he got rewarded for his aggressive play. That's what it was. Yeah, that is. He got rewarded for his aggressive play. He couldn't calculate the refutation to G4, so he trusted it. And his opponent couldn't find the refutation either. So, you know, it's, it's only fair. Mm -hmm. But the position was so irrational. You can hardly blame any player for any mistake at that point. That's true. Hey, Nur has it going. Hey, not the cheat. Oh, good old nurse in here. <laughs> I wonder if Ben has ever played the kid. Uh, yeah, totally. You know, totally. Uh, but it's not his main weapon. He's, he has more games than the Chigorin and the Czech Benoni. And also uh, Slav, I guess. Like, D takes C4 for Slav. And maybe even, like, G6 Slav. Yeah. You don't think they understood the game, Bernarici? <laughs> All right, I know I didn't. <laughs> yeah, Probably true. Not even the players, right? Yeah. All right, how about uh, another one? Yeah, um, I think we, I think got we time. have time. Let's see. And we got like two hundred viewers, 17. so they're yeah. trying to learn. Aren't yeah, I think let's keep it going. Okay, we're yeah. going to do one more example, and then we'll play a couple of people. I haven't heard from Ben, so I'm not real clear. All right, here's Kasparov, but not the Kasparov you might think. It's Kasparov S. Spencer Kasparov. Just kidding. <laughs> it's uh, Sergei Kasparov. Sergei Kasparov, also a GM. One of the best Kasparovs. Mm -hmm. All right. This is from 2010. He's by Bo Bokarov. I don't know who that is. Sounds pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little different move order. But still the same-ish. I like it. Also goes knight c6. Normally white prefers queen d2, waiting to see black's reply before deciding on a plan. Now that's a flexible move because oh, because if you want to castle queen side and mate, queen d2 is good anyway. Yeah. Or if you want to play more positionally, queen d2 is a normal positional move to just improve the position slightly. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I definitely uh, would agree with that. But he didn't give h4 dubious, so. But also it's possible Kasparov's trying not to um, waste the tempo on it. He wants to just go in immediately. But not really, because after h5 he played queen d2, so. Rook e8, interesting. An interesting alternative to the more usual rook b8, like how we saw in the last game. I think, right? Well, that's the normal idea. I kind of forgot if he played it <laughs> in the last game. So long ago. <laughs> Knight c1. Castle and queenside can be met by b5 without preparing rook b8. Since the pawn sacrifice would, you know, open it up here anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So rook e8 would gain a tempo in, in that way, you know. Because you don't need to play rook b8 and rook is good on e8, or a8 rather. Um, and also, of course, this can be met with bishop h8, which is a main point of playing rook e8 as well. So, he played knight c1 for that reason. That makes sense, right? It makes sense for white not to castle queenside and and uh, not justify the fact that black didn't play rook b8. Castling queenside b5 would be necessary without the move. Yeah. Is kingside castle a bad idea due to f3? Yeah, generally white does castle queenside in the same-ish. And, and your, your dark squares are weak around the king because of the move f3, but it's not entirely out of the question, you know? It's not entirely out of the question. Yeah, not in the, right exactly. Kangaroo is uh is not in the main lines, right? 
Svarv also gave up the King's Indian defense for Grunfeld. Yeah, he played a lot of Grunfeld. That's true. Uh, and Semislav, too, later in his career. Oh, you got it, Mark. You got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so. awesome. Yeah. And all of the videos are um, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's true. Go back and watch the old ones. I gotta play c5 here. Black is committed to his central action, even if even if it involves a sacrifice. Exchanging knights on b3. That's this is that's just generally wrong, and Black shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. You gotta play c5 here. Uh, even though it might lose material. If he goes for knight takes, castle and queenside. This is dreadful for Black. I mean, it does look pretty bad. Mm -hmm. It's just a bad position. You know, mm. no, uh, no doubt about that. So he does this one. At least his knight is good. Hey there. And knight takes d4. <laughs> Looks like he brought stuff. And d5. Not x clam. I wanted it to be x clam though. Oh, is it Starbucks x clam? Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank that's you nice. Much. A snack? Yeah, I didn't eat <laughs> much today. So All right, you told me because they didn't give you your basil. The basil roll. Yeah, I hate right. when that happens. <laughs> so I didn't eat. And so now. Sergey Kasparov? That's right. He's not as good as. Gary? Gary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's still one of the best Kasparovs. And they're not related, right? I believe not. There's no other not related Kasparov's name isn't Kasparov. Right, right. Thank you. Oh. Kasparov's name is Weinstein. All right. That's true. In fact, I, I got him to that. sign a book, and he signed it Weinstein. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh, why did he change his name? Kasparov's is mom's name, I guess? Oh, yeah. Okay. But that's the female I gotta version. Eat. Right. I'm sorry to eat. This so is the ASMR version. The Soviet version. authorities <laughs> didn't want a Jewish guy to be the world champion. Hmm. Oh, get, yeah. Get rid of the Weinstein name. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I can so believe Black that. Black resigned because he's down a pawn? Oh, snap. Right. Sure. It's, it's funny that it's a Kasparov game in a King's Indian, and he's white, and it's a different Kasparov. Sergey. Classic demon game. How old are you, demon game? <laughs> Come on. Black has sacrificed a pawn and now hopes to exploit white's lagging development to obtain compensation. This is a typical idea when one side builds an ambitious pawn center. In this case, white has spent four moves advancing his C, D, E, and F pawns, and these moves cannot uh, also be spent developing pieces. That's true. Black must strike quickly, since if white completes his development and reinforces his pawn center, then he will have a stable space advantage. All right, I got it. Yeah, horses like stable squares. That's Thank true. you for the bag. I'm gonna have to eat. I'm sorry. I don't like to eat on the stream. I asked Karen if she liked that joke. So kind of sorry. Gross. She said. Sorry for the rattling. Nay. Let me just open this real quick. Oh, hang on. Let's move. And we can continue. That's still a fork. That's a knife. Wait, right, hang on. Sorry, I'm you so hungry. I can't help it. You've played knifey spoony before. So he I never played that. F6. Um, okay, e6. Good. Interesting. But he also gives bishop f2. Never retreat. Oh, he always retreat. Oh, sexual and eating time. Yes. That gives black excellent play for the pawn. I guess. I mean, the c file's open. That was a big part, sorry. <laughs> Try to be good. What's that? Hmm. All right, so then knight never get mate here. You are what you eat. That's why Karen mm. is known as Karen Cream Cheese. <laughs> Move things in the background. Watch. If here Black's pieces are very clumsily placed, that's the point of his gambited pawn here. If he goes knight f8, yeah, then bishop h8 soon, right? Mm -hmm. f5. Karen thought they were fur delicious, not clumsy. Bishop e2 question mark, knight takes, is clearly good for Black. That's true. Mm -hmm. So here, like this, Black's active play has totally destroyed White's center, but the game is far from over. All right, he castled kingside question mark. Wow, it's giving so scary up any over there. hope of advantage. He should have castled queenside, X clam. Yeah, lining up on the queen. 
Here's the variation he gives. That's scary. Always set uh -oh. the exchange. No, no, that's not right. That's better. Yeah. Well, we'll regain the pawn at d5 and retain a positional advantage. So there. Mm -hmm. It turns out that white's king is poorly placed, as Karen predicted, and black can activate his bishop by an alternate route. In the book, does it say as Karen predicted? It does not. Because <laughs> that would have been, you know, right. and none really be good. Right. I was talking about how that we'll never finish the book because Nunn just keeps writing the book. Right. And we'll just have to keep going through it as he's writing it. <laughs> Classic Nunn. That is cool that they're, <laughs> no, that they're both from the same uh, city. I agree. That's an interesting fact. He took question mark. White should play bishop f3. Like this. And then there. Threatening to take on e5. With equal chances. Playing in the center is more important than taking the irrelevant H-pawn. Mm. Harsh to call it irrelevant like that. Mm. Praise for me. Yeah, what if that H-pawn had a family? Uh, Excuse me. I'm sitting top on food in my mouth. You're learning from diners driving. <laughs> <laughs> from that guy. Yeah, he's gross. Hey, the episode that I saw a few weeks ago. About that I, show? I, no, no. The, the episode of what... <laughs> Where I found Karen's one of her Valentine's Day presents. Right, you told me about that. No, but it just came on today, and Karen saw it. She was like, "There it is." Yeah, oh. that was neat. Yeah, to that's see cool. Like, yeah. It was. It's from some state nobody's heard of, like North Dakota. Or okay, seven X Clan. He's going over, moving on over like a Samish. One of the top <laughs> Dakotas. It is now black rather than white who has a superiority in the center. Boom shakalaka. A dubious check here. Always Resigns. set the exchange. Because that's coming. Yeah, queen takes, loses the queen. Not sure why you'd resign instead of playing rook takes. That. That's why I'd resign. Uh, well, why what can't you? That? Yeah. Wait. Why can't I play queen? Oh. Here, yeah. <laughs> not say queen takes the bishop. What about rook? That's a funny trick. I just yeah, move the king. Move the king. But he took a bishop, so you're up a bishop. You know. Mm. Oh, okay. You know he's a black oh, bishop ahead. Yeah. I see. That's okay. All. all right. That's no good. All right now we have to. That's what I said. We have to add the social eating tag to the stream. Now. <laughs> that's pretty good. Rook takes f three. Yeah. Yeah. Who would have thought? That guy's not as good as the other Kasparov. All right. He lost to some guy I never heard of. Bakarov? I've heard of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never heard he's of him. Barely, he's barely. A barely. Oh, the next one's my favorite. Benoni structure. Yeah. But uh, are we going to go for that, or, or what's mm. the deal? What's, well, now that you're here, we can talk about your stream. And, and, and She told me I was streaming 645. Mm-hmm. That's true. I Usually to, I play I people at the end now. Notes and they wouldn't we only have 15 minutes. Could. Probably yeah. shouldn't start it. Yeah, because right, I, I agree. Don't play, cause we'll do it next time. We wouldn't even really have time to do one example properly. Sure. And then we'd, so I can play a couple people and then rage. Yeah. And, yeah. That was good. I think we got made good progress. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on section 89. That's a lot of sections. I'm trying to talk and not chew. You know. Anyway. True. Benoni sandwiches are delicious. Yeah, Giant Chesticles says he's your namesake. And I told him, a good thing he's not called Tiny Chesticles. <laughs> ben did like that joke. <laughs> Hold me closer, Tiny Chesticles. The answer is fries. Are you going to play? Yeah. All right. I am. I'll keep reading the chat. How many viewers are there? 226. Mm. How come? Probably because of uh, some get, in bed. Did you That's get what rated? Karen claimed. We did, did not get rated. You get more than 226 if you want. That's what I said. But then Karen's like, no, uh, we'll never get 200 people without an in bed. Uh, My name's Karen. Maybe. I was like, what are you talking like that for? Yeah. No, I mean, we usually get 100. We can get 100 something, but not. Let me move this out. I'll eat it in a minute. Oh, look Man, at if that. you are what you eat, then Karen's going to lose all her games. Darn, I need something to wipe this up with. Do you got a napkin for Karen? What about that thing? Do you want that? I just want anything this, to wipe it up with. This, I don't really care what it is. I don't yeah. Know what, what you did. I don't know how much you need. 
There we go. It looks like three of us. Yeah. We have got. Well, what did you want me to do? Teleport there? <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. You know, come on. Okay, now we got. Oh, we got some pretty high view counts. Yeah, well, we have a great stream, so it's about dang time. Yay. Yeah, Drain was definitely next. Drain was. He, right. he challenged rated. That's all right. Yeah. It's the French. Since I'm lower rated, it doesn't matter to me. Karen plays the French. You know, Karen. I've seen her do it. Yeah, yeah, French. It looks like the doctor of prefers that kind of defense. Mm -hmm. Ship D3, huh? And DC, is this, is this modern theory here? Yeah, old theory is BC. Then they, they changed the theory, and now yeah. it's BCE. That's kind oh. of a joke. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh -oh. Transposed into an advanced? I would say obviously not. No. Also, frankly not. Frankly not, yes. There you go. Steinitz would love this. Get that king active. Mm -hmm. He's hungry like the wolf. Go Greek gift. Getting Greek gifted. Active king. Greek gift to the French. So romantic. Yeah, you guys are all correct. Oh, look at that. Five gifted subs. Yay, thank you for that. Thorntro. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thorntro. I remember him. Yeah? Yeah. He's gifted on my channel. I remember. Don't worry, worry. Is it a Greek gift sub, right? Mm -hmm. It's a baklava sub. Go hmm. Karen. That seems problematic. Yeah? Why is that? Why well, am I just going to do this night? Well, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Thorn Thorn Tro. You rock as well. Thorn Tro. Yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> right, right. Let me see. Oh, yeah, but Dabadu says it's Ben. Mm, where? Oh, yeah. It's tough to see. There are three neon greens in a row. How crazy is that? Three people neon green in a row. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -hmm. But that's what you guys get for the, the, the light mode. The light mode. I heard you talking about me. Well, Spencer likes dark mode. Everyone likes dark mode. Everyone likes dark mode. Dark mode's the way to go. Yeah, I don't like that. No, that's Everybody way better. Likes it. Yeah. yeah. That's one of the reasons I don't like it. Yeah, see, light mode. That's the correct emote. Dark mode for life. Runaway king, never going back. Looks pretty safe. <laughs> pretty, pretty safe. Here comes Forktown. Um, let's see what I got here. We do have a lot of viewers. Thanks for noticing, SJ. <laughs> Did you have Spencer take your picture? No, because. Of another reason, I already forgot. We, we, we talked about it. Hey, Dancing Tortoise. Because you have the ring light. Thanks for uh, the subscription. Hmm. I just don't understand the reference. I would never play F6, but that seemed like the right move. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. This game is painful for Black. Let's pretend it never happened. What if Black wins? Then is it painful? Mm -hmm. I gotta Black get and it. pretend it happened. What's white's snack. raining? I can't see from here. 1063. Everything seems 50 50 until the game's over. Yeah. Even after the game's over. 50 50. 50 50. Yeah. Now I'm going to set up. Get up, set up. Set up after the wife. Mm -hmm. Get up, set up. Black is defending well. Oh, an anonymous don't, gifter gifted five subs. Thank don't you. Don't give up your knife. 
Hang including to uh, Laz. I said, do you have any of those bagels left? The ones you like? And he said, we have one left. So that was serendipitous. Level four train. Nice. Oh yeah, that hype train is at level four. That's awesome. Oh, and Bishop Takes with 200 bits. Thanks, Bishop Takes. Well, it'll take a while to do that because of all the other gift subs. <laughs> yeah, get that train to level five. Level five train. It's been a while on this channel. Oh, look mm -hmm. at that. Some strange amount of bits from Neurononum. 23 times 4, that's 92, plus 8, so it's just 100. <laughs> he just made me do math. <laughs> I get it. Darn. That's um, all right. You could still win. Mm -hmm. Easily. <laughs> How about easily? But onward. 23 is the question and the answer. Don't give up your knight. Is Karen winning yet? No, I just lost my queen. No. Lost my queen before you played chess. <laughs> She's got uh, three minor pieces for a queen and rook. I think I lost my queen like 70 times yesterday. Yeah, I mean, you're a grandmaster. 200 bits from Gavin. Thanks, Gavin. Hello, right back at you. Just went on time. That is good. Uh, that is a good suggestion. When did Ben color his hair? How do you count 23 times 4 so quickly? Well, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 3 times 4 is 12, so it's 80 plus 12. Yeah, see, Mango got it. Exactly. Just, <laughs> just double it twice. That's a good point. But yeah, I did it. I did eighty plus twelve. Right, it did. It took me a second, you know. I'm not uh, as quick with that mental math as I was, you know, as a kid. You have to do it all the time. Oh, you could also do it that way, but giant chesticles. But that's like the most difficult way to do it. Oh, B6, here it is. Where's Scottish Demon go when you need him? I like when Spencer says giant chesticles. G4. Maybe you're playing Matt Larson. And he lost, you know, 2,000 rating points. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Multiplying is impressive for someone raised in America. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were joking, Twit Chris. <laughs> Which maybe you still are, who knows. Oh yeah, see, Scottish Demon Goat has your back with that B6, double X glam. I love how solid your position is, like, normally, you know, if you weren't a queen down. Solid position. <laughs> still up in time, that's true. French bishop activated. Go, go, gadget, French bishop. Mm -mm. I should probably resign. Don't it's resign. One little blocky. Yeah. It's like Minecraft. Get a, you get a little block. Mm-hmm. Look at that. You're going to win now. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely you'll win. As long as you keep the spirit of Massachusetts. Let's see, that seems tough. Hype train success. <clears throat> nice. Oh. 
Thanks for that hype train, you guys. Massachusetts. Let's see, where can I go? Dang, I thought you had him there, but he's, we played <clears> it a little too <throat> slow at the end. Yeah. You're know, spending six seconds each move, gonna lose on time then. Mm. Good game, it was a tough one. Yeah, the time got a little close. Uh, uh, oh, I guess we can't like... analyze it because it's already that time, huh? Um, You can go ahead and analyze it. Oh, yeah? All yeah. Right. yeah, let's do it then. Doesn't matter. A little bit of analysis. I mean, the opening wasn't great for white. And that's not right. You should play f4. And uh, that's, I mean, maybe actually you do have to do that. I would take that pawn, though, by the way. Oh, really? OK. Yeah, totally. Take I the thought, center pawn. Well, the, the reason I didn't is because your it's a developing move. Tempo, right? yeah. yeah. I thought that he might just push it down just to make me have a less desired Oh, like structure, here? yeah. Maybe well, play knight takes. So. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right, so this is allowing the great gift, which might be good for him, simply, but it might not be. Seems like you do have to step up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I looked at. Now, can we look at the um, engine? Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe we should look before queen g4 because I don't think that's the right move. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. Yeah. All right. So let's look here. It says it's just winning with queen d3 check. Mm. And h4. Those are both typical strong Greek okay. gift moves. Right. Just likes white, yeah. You know. I mean, the game continues, but it just likes white. So yeah, castles was, was probably a blunder then. Right. So what would I do here? Cry. <laughs> All right, let's just for fun look at this, just for a second. There, there, this, here. So my point is that I made you pin yourself. I don't really believe this, it's just doing it for fun. Yeah, this is mate, right? Oh no, wait, wait. Ah, this has to lose, it's black's lost, come on. This is I'm not scary. analyzing it. <laughs> that was just for fun. Yeah, it looks like you're just busto. But yeah, basically, uh, I mean, I don't know about bishop g5, why that was helpful. But basically, you could have just won on time at the end. You're mm -hmm. probably developing the knight is more efficient. Yeah, I lost track of the time, as per usual. And then he yeah, lost the queen there. He got you with that one. Mm -hmm. but yeah, you should uh, get your pieces out instead of uh, retreating them. But yeah, because yeah, now he overpowered you. I was just... Intimidated after I lost my queen. Oh yeah. I mean, uh -huh. but yeah, you could have won it on time. I know. And yeah, this also is risky when they open up the F file. You gotta be expecting rook f one. Mm -hmm. Seems like you're a little surprised by it. But then you handled it well. Even here, I thought you could have won on time. Yeah, just like go here, let him take this, move away. All right. Yeah. You know that would have been uh, safe. Mm -hmm. I was pretty moving. Then, right, so. right, right. Then yeah, he made a threat. Yeah, you gotta just throw in some checks. Like, just right. You guys have like 10 seconds here. Check, check, you know? Mm -hmm. Play random moves. So you're thinking for a long time, and then he got you even. You have to play this. And yeah, I should have done I should have checked him. Good games. Yeah, it Good was hard. It was strain. hard to keep. It was hard to keep calm. Yeah. But, you know, that's just what it is. Um, we're gonna raid Ben. Thank you guys. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this stream. I did. I can't wait for next time when it'll be Benoni. Yeah, you're, you my know, favorite. A lot of yeah. Okay, so G M Ben. See you guys soon, G M Ben, German. <laughs> there he is. Did it? Why does he have to have such a long name? Bye. Bye guys. See you. Love Take you guys. It easy. Bye.